Bath time with the twins. Now I know how my mom feels. It is bath time for these little ones. They are dirty. We found a little black spot. So bath time is over and feeding is over, but they're still hungry, but we don't want to overfeed them. So we're going to take them back out to the little home out there in the barn and then uh, get on with the day. So fresh and clean. As you can see, we put a little doggy bed in there. And this morning, actually last night, we came to feed them at eight o'clock and they were cuddled up in it. So maybe we can get some footage of that later. So you're probably wondering why we decided to get two male goats instead of any female goats when our end goal is to have milk goats. Well, we wanted to get male bottle babies so that we can raise them and be very, very hands-on with them. We want them to grow up and be as comfortable with us as possible. We want them to know that we are their owners. We want them to be gentle with us and not be mean or aggressive because we've dealt with mean and aggressive goats in the past and it's not something that we want to repeat. So we will be getting female goats a little later down the line. Um, we're really, really excited about that, but we want to let the male goats grow up a little bit. Um, we don't know if we're gonna keep both of them, but it really depends on their personalities. So we'll see how they grow up, we'll see how they interact with us and that'll be the really the determining factor and then we'll eventually get our female goats. The reason why we want to get milk goats is because of all the benefits from goat milk. We want to make soap, butter, cheese, and just to have milk for when we bake or just to drink. So we're really looking forward to having the opportunity to explore all those options. So as promised, I'm gonna take you into the second bedroom but right before I do, I have tons of scraps to go in the compost pile. So I'm gonna take you outside with me. We're gonna throw that in the pile. I have eggshells, a little bit of paper in here. I have a ton of cucumber, oranges, and grapes. These are all just fruits and vegetables that we had in the refrigerator from when we from before we went out of town. So they're not ripe anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the compost pile. So our dog started barking all crazy and I looked out the window and there's three horses that ran up from, it looked like from the highway. So we're gonna try and see if we can do anything to help. So these are our neighbors. Um, they have horses and animals, but we don't know whose horses these are. So they went in this property over here. So they ran into someone's yard. We don't know who they are and we don't know if they're home, but we got them safe in a fence. So we're gonna try and see what we can do now. So Jason's talking to our neighbor right now. They ran to our neighbor's house um, and then they ran off. I guess they got spooked and we we're gonna try and get them in our neighbor's yard and see you know, what we can do from there. But they ran out to the highway. We chased them 
Um, we were trying to avoid that, but they did get to the highway. So now they're across the highway in someone's yard, but they are in a fenced in area. So right now they're away from harm. So now we're gonna try and figure out what to do from here. I don't even know who you would call in this situation, but hopefully we find their owners. I locked back close that gate, and then but then there's another one to another passage that there's nothing to lock. So I don't know. Uh, Gates are closed and <laughs> yeah. force it were in. Yeah. Oh, I'm just glad we got them off the highway. That was my main thing. And then there was a car coming and I was just waving. Of course they'd see a horse before me, but yeah. They just they just waved and drove on by. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, not walking their horses. So after running around and driving around, we got them captured but now we're trying to find the owners i drove up to several houses couldn't find them we went around town can't find the owners so we put it on facebook hopefully the owners will contact me we can get them back to them so it's just a waiting game now so now while we wait for hopefully the owners of the horses to contact us i guess there's not really much else we can do except get on with our day as usual so like i said i'll take these scraps to the compost pile we'll mix it up a little bit and then we will show you the second bedroom Now it's lunch time. Look, they're still clean. Man, that one sucked it down way faster than this one. He's used to the nipple now. As promised, second bedroom, come on. So here's the second bedroom. Everybody always asks, what's it look like? Well, told you we didn't have much in here. We just have some insulation on the walls and ceiling. There's some of it's not even done yet. Actually, if you can look around, there's not much done at all. We started doing some of the tongue and groove. Um, 
This wall over here is blocking off the bedroom and the bathroom. It's the same exact setup as my bedroom on the other side, like we said. Uh, we've got a bunch of Christmas stuff in here. Uh, a bunch of extra insulation that we haven't put up yet. Uh, all of our all-purpose uh, sheetrock material. Uh, more tongue and groove. We have cut a lot of wood in here and stuff, so there's sawdust everywhere. Um, but that's what we're doing. We're cleaning everything up and hopefully next time you see this, it's going to look more like a bedroom and less like a storage room. So now that we're in here, <laughs> as you can see, we cleaned up a little bit. We kind of stored some stuff still in here for now. We're not going to work on it right now. We have other stuff that we need to finish. We're going to finish all the trim work in the living room and kitchen. We're going to finish out Jared's bathroom and then trim out Jared's bedroom. Then we might start on this again. Jaylene and I are going to build our own. So this isn't a huge priority. This is just going to be a second bedroom. So we'll get to it when we get to it. But it's going to be set up just like Jared's where back where that mattress is, is going to be the shower and then we're gonna have a toilet and a small vanity. It's gonna be a lot smaller in here. And then on this side, it's gonna be a closet with a washer and dryer in it, which everyone always asks us, where's your washer and dryer? We were gonna do a mud room on the back. We decided against it because we wanted more of a back porch than that. So we're gonna do washer and dryer combo in here and then small bathroom. And then in here, it's just gonna be second bedroom slash office and we all could use it uh jaylena and i work from home we do video and photo um work jared can work from home sometimes so this will just be set up for us to work in we'll have our computers and whatnot but one big reason why we will finish this sooner than later is it's a place for our parents to stay when they come up here or friends even though we barely have any in the Dallas area because we're still semi new here Jaylena's mom is from Nashville and so sometimes she stays at her sister's house and stuff like that but her sister just bought a new house even farther away from us so this would be a great place for her to stay for my parents to stay for our older brother if he comes uh, our little nephew Bubba uh, you've seen him in the BB gun video if you haven't go back and watch that video the kid is awesome but we will finish this sooner than later it's just not a top priority at the moment wow the puppy just wanted to say hi but we're gonna end today it's starting to drizzle we don't know if it's gonna rain real bad or not but as you can tell behind us the barn looks way better there's no more embarrassing trash pile over there we're gonna try to cram as much of the garbage we have left in the dumpster before it starts raining and then we are going to run to walmart and maybe rent a movie or maybe buy some ice cream and uh in the no in the night with the movie night we'll let you know how that turned out <laughs> 